I think it's time, or I think a good opportunity, to present two people who most of you might know who they are. They are great, creative, visionary leaders, and they are none other than Crowdwell's founder, Jonas Erik Werner, and Johan Stahl von Holstein, the CEO of ICT. So join me as I find them here in the talk show corner of this amazing stage. Men in black, women in black, aren't we fantastic. in synchronicity? <laughs> Thank you so much. And a warm welcome to your own event. I mean, the former event I heard was record-breaking, the first online event that you had. What are your expectations for today? Yeah, the, the first one, the first uh, world event that we had uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had more than uh, a million viewers. And uh, as you said before, this is the first um, uh, world recognition uh, event. And uh, I believe that we can be somewhere between two and a half and, and uh, four million viewers uh, on this event. Wow, that is truly amazing. And I'm also thinking, I mean, both of you have really vast wealth of knowledge and experience of business ventures, of seed funding, and, and of, of course, also network and affiliate marketing. What do you both bring to this industry of networking and affiliate marketing? Yeah, uh, uh, you can start. Well, it's uh, unquestionably so that Jonas is probably one of the best networks, uh, salespeople in the world, the way he's created in, uh, the atmosphere and the, and the whole community around leaders who's building this company for us now. What I bring to this company, I hope, is more long-term perspective than what they've had before, um, and a sincere ambition to really create long-term and sustainable products for the environment so that we can really get these products far into the network and make a real impact different, both on the people working with us who need the money and the work, but in the, in the, in the areas where they work and the countries where they are, are present so that we really do what we say, impact crowd technology, taken mm -hmm. from the United Nations ambitions to have technology as impact of growing prosperity and growth in these uh, regions. So I think the more traditional business type of like long-term and sustainability to, com combined with Jonah's fantastic uh, abilities to build this network. Mm. Yeah, the, the vision uh, when we started the company uh, and the goal was to create the next generation of, of online networking uh, in a way that, that millions of people, tens, hundreds of millions of people, easily can, easy can duplicate um, because most people are not salespeople. Mm. Uh, so, so we wanted to create uh, a system uh, with tools that you within a couple of minutes can understand and, and easily can explain to other people that can also understand it very quickly. And then you have a, a duplication. And, and I think we are on the way of, of, of doing that because yeah, we're growing very fast. And that's the proof that people understand it. Hmm. I think, you know, just like Jonas says, it's not easy to sell. A lot of people have ambitions to do that and are not able to do it. So not everybody is going to be successful. And everybody in this will have to work hard, be committed, persistent, long term. But with the tools that we have, with the ability that the technology allows us today, we'll be able to educate people mm. and through education, lift people and through lifting people, create the atmosphere where they can buy and sell and trade and get new products to trade. I, I'm so excited about the potential in this and of being part of this. I love this company and I truly fundamentally believe and I am going to make it happen that we will change the world mm. through the way how we can overbridge the digital divide, how we can, you know, get new products into these regions who are neglected by other large uh, software companies. So the yeah. future is great for that. And, and sort of bringing it back to you, Jonas, what was your vision when you sort of sparked the idea of Crowd1? Yeah, the vision was actually to, to, um, uh, to create something new, uh, a system. Most people are spending hours every day mm. uh, online, and, and uh, most people have a mobile phone, mm. but very few people uh, earn money on something that most people do hours and hours every day. So the go goal was actually to create uh, an online network system where, where uh, people uh, all around the world uh, would be able to take a part of, of this huge business. Um, yeah, that was the goal. And, and, um, and uh, I think we're going the right way. Mm. If, if you look at the amount of... We have five million people in the network today, or more actually, but active members. 
they have 500 friends each on social media. That means that our reach is actually two and a half million people where we can educate how our members can use the social media to spread their information. Mm -hmm. When we start selling like this newspaper magazine, which everybody should buy because there's so much important information into it. When we show, when we start selling products and getting that out and showing the power of our reach of two and a half billion people, there are very few entrepreneurs in the world who's not going to take us very seriously and want to work with us, mm. which is going to be you know, the push effect that will enable us to build the company as large as we want it to be. A really important thing also when we, when we started the company was actually to make it 100% mobile. Uh, because uh, yeah, if, if it's 100% mobile, most people will be able to, to do it. It doesn't matter where you come from, in which country you live. The only thing you need uh, to, to build a business online is your mobile phone. Mm. And if you look at what's happening with the COVID-19 or the coronavirus spread today, the world is never going to go back to what was normal. People are never going to travel the same way, although I can't wait to get out and meet all our fantastic members around the world and on normal events, but people are going to work less in that way. Mm. They're going to work much more from home. They're going to be much more dependent on the digital world, on the mobile world, which is exactly where we are, with the tools they need. And as we, with our social responsibility uh, um, ambitions, we will you know, take care of, of keeping distance for people, social distancing, and all of these things that are essential for the, for the next, for the, for the world for the coming years. Mm. And also, I think you touched upon that. I mean, the, the, the exponential growth, one could say, of Crowd1 also implies, you know, there is a great scalability to the business. So it's been from like 2 million to 6 million. So how do you see this exponential growth happening, let's say, in the coming two years? When we started, my goal was, was uh, 5 million people within three to five years. Mm. And uh, when I met Johan, uh, he talked about, yeah, most people know 500 people that know 500 people and so on on social media. And, and he talked about higher numbers. And um, what I can see now is that we probably be closer to, to what Johan believed. And I, I truly believe it also now when we see what's happened. So, so um, I believe we can go for, for 10, 15, 20, and 25 million uh, users already in 2020. And within two years, 200 million. And as we get good products out there, and good products have good results, and people are making money locally, not being paid out as sales commission to Silicon Valley uh, companies who definitely don't need the money, but actually paid out the regions that desperately need them, mm. I mean, that's going to show the proof and the strength of the concept, that it's going to add more people, and more people is going to add more products. And uh, so it's, I think we will have an exponential growth for a long time going. It's important for us to be able to manifest our position by taking up these products, by supplying them with education tools that lift people, because education is how you lift people in the beginning. And then through products to trade, we will bring prosperity and growth in the regions. And as we do that, it's going to take off and become one of the next huge companies within the uh, social media crowd um, gig economy. And I mean, we, we live in, in uncertain times at, at the moment, and also it's very much focused on, you know, the regeneration of, of, of the world and, and also sustainability of companies and so forth. So how do you sort of have that delicate balance of having such a rapid scale, but at the same time also keeping at the core a sustainable vision and a sustainable way of working and being? Well, this is, most of our products are going to be digital. Um, we are totally digital in ourselves and mobile through the mobile. We are already there from an environmentalist aspect, perfectly positioned mm -hmm. and pushing this into regions that normally would, would have to wait decades to get to that position. We also are going to work hard with pushing money and revenues into our structures at the level where they really need it so that we will be able to really make sustainable and um, socially responsible contributions to the regions that need this. We will also use a lot of our profits and revenues to different charity projects that will be engaged in these markets where we're present. So, you know, we are thinking of this from top to bottom, mm. and it's essential for us. We are really considering and considerate mm. uh, about these regions and engaged in how we're going to make them thrive. Mm. Yeah, and if you look on companies in, in our industry before, uh, we have like 20 times more people uh, earning money and get something back mm. uh, in our business. And, uh, and 
that's fantastic to see. And, um, and a reason for that is, of course, that, that, we, have, that we are a mobile business, mm -hmm. a business that everybody can work with. But, but also, uh, if we're looking forward from now, uh, we have a, a fantastic portfolio with products that we will launch in, in 2020. I start to smile just thinking about them. And already within a couple of weeks, our next, wor our next world event, uh, 4th of, of July, we will, we will um, give tools and, and um, online products to, to members uh, all, all around the world. And a lot of this is about leadership, because in a way the platform is a form of decentralized leadership or autonomous leadership. Um, what would you say are important traits to really cultivate yourself as a leader, especially within the Crowd1 platform? I'll let you start. Yeah, the, we have great leaderships, leadership in the company, and, and uh, I think uh, when you have a lot of people that, that actually uh, can do the business, that understand the business. Uh, of course, if there's a lot of people understand it, there will be much more people doing it. Mm -hmm. And, and um, fee people get uh, self-confidence. And uh, a good self-confidence create good leaders. Uh, I have never seen uh, a leadership uh, like we have in other companies because we have so many people, as I said before, like 20 times more people mm. doing a, a really good business. So, so we have uh, yeah, tens of thousands of leaders already and uh, that helps because uh, the duplication is, is going on faster and faster. Uh, I heard a couple of days ago that we have an average of, of about 25,000 meetings, uh, online webinars and, and meetings, live meetings and so on every day around the world. Mm. So we have started a movement. I, I think it's hard to stop it. And, and it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's great to see on YouTube everywhere a lot of people that actually uh, duplicate the business. You see new people thousands of people every day that understand the business and, and uh, with, with our uh, tools that you easily can learn mm -hmm. how to use, can get the business to grow everywhere. I've, I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs build their companies and I've seen people come from nowhere building fantastic things. I've seen the power of enriching people, of helping people, of lifting people, how much inspiration and energy can help to lift people. And we are going to do that there in a big scale. So what I'm looking for